This is the island of Tarotau. Home to the King Cobra, Python Shark, Monkey, Wild Boar, and many other inhabitants. And this is me, a guy with no survival experience, about to spend 50 hours on this desired island. You must be wondering why I'm putting my life at risk. Well, my friends and I always played survival games together. Minecraft, Raft, even Ark. And now we finally get to do this in a real life scenario. This is 50 hours on a desired island. Narrated by yours truly, Davis Attenborough. All right, guys, we're approaching the island. It took us almost three days to get here. We'll be spending the next 50 hours here trying to survive on this island. The boys have been dropped off at the north of the island with a basic survival kit. The boat will return in 50 hours to an extraction point located at the south of the island. But first, they must survive. My God, guys, we've arrived on this island. Let's feel that. That's just nature. Oh my God, this place is incredible. It looks beautiful. No one's here. No one. Anybody here? Anyone? All right, we found our first creature of this island. Jellyfish. Yo, jellyfish. What are you doing here? What's up? Imagine it just went. Right now, we're just trying to find some place to set up base. It's going to be dark soon and we have nothing. I'm shattered right now. I'm tired. I want to drop my bag off and start setting up camp. You know what? I spent a lot of time in my room, playing games, on my phone, scrolling for YouTube. And um, it's nice to be away from that for the next 50 hours. Be away from all distractions. But then, you know what's going to distract us? Cobras, pythons, monkeys, all of that. As the sun will start to set in a few hours, the boys will need to find shelter immediately if they are to survive the night. But delving into the jungle can be just as dangerous when you don't know what's in there. Oh my god. You hear that sound? Jesus. Oh my god, I hate this, I hate this. I've just got this fear. There's just like a cobra underneath all these leaves. And I'm just gonna accidentally step on it, it's gonna attack me and I'll die. You're quiet, very quiet right now. Are you scared? You don't like this, do you? I don't like it at all. <laughs> the boys set up their hammocks just 100 meters away from the coast, elevated above the ground for protection against spiders, scorpions, and snakes. All right, I think that's shelter done. Now we need food, water, protection, everything else. <laughs> now, desperate to find water, AJ conducts a plan to gather as many resources as possible. All right, boys, we need to fill this place with resources, bring as much as we can here, and see what we can do, okay? Is that cool? Water in it. How much to drink it? I'll drink that right now. You won't drink that. I will drink that right now. That, you're not that thirsty, bro. Bro, it's not worth it. Drinking washed up water that could be years old is not a very good idea. <laughs> but it just goes to show how desperate a human can get when oh they gosh. are dehydrated. I put, it, put it down, put it down, put it down. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what country this came from. Let's go. As the boys gather the items they found, AJ spots something behind a palm tree. Is that coconut? Oh, come, come, come. Yo, hey. Is there something in that? Can you hear? I don't hear anything. Shall we check? Let's cut it open. When cracked open, a fresh coconut can be filled with water. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Ah, yeah, yeah, there's too many bugs. This might be our first drink of the day. It's nothing? All right, hold on. Maybe we just need to open it more. Oh my god! <laughs> Yo! That's insane, go on! The water from inside a coconut can be extremely refreshing, unless you are a fussy eater. <laughs> Worried that they might not be able to find any food, the flesh from the coconut is shared, but doesn't last long. Now looking to find some food, AJ and Hakim try to look for some fish. Oh my god, look at this! Oh my god. Oh my god, it's still in there. Oh, oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? But quickly leave the water when Dan spots a shark along the east of the beach. Big mistake. Big mistake, big mistake. Oh my god. Oh my god. We were just in there a second ago. The shark appears to be a zebra shark. Their diet usually consists of small bony animals. So it's understandable why AJ is so afraid of it. That will get you. As the sun sets, darkness is beginning to take over the island. Boom! <laughs> so roughly another hour has gone past. 
as you can see, getting dark really fast. No food tonight, kind of sad. We'll all go in bed hungry. Literally, my stomach's growling. But uh, I think one of the big issues that we're having right now is that everyone's starting to realize what we're doing. Yo, right now, I feel like I'm in Castaway. All we have is a hammock. <laughs> no water, no food, just a hammock. Help! Oh, look, it's a bat, look. Are you, you seeing this? Oh, shit. Yo, yo, what the Well, that's another Pokemon on a Pokedex. All right, listen, guys. It's about literally an hour until it's completely dark. How you guys feeling? Oh, uh, I want to get off the island. Hey, I'm not going to lie to you. Dan has been wanting to go home literally since he came. Basically, it's about to get dark, and I'm telling you guys, this island's going to come to life. All right, guys, listen. If we make it through the first night, we'll be fine. We can do the second day in the heat, and the third day, it's piss. Look at him. Oh, my God. They know what we're in for. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, well, uh, I'm not going to lie to you. The darker it gets, the more uh, I'm starting to get scared. It's not that I'm, that I'm scared like that, it's that I, can't, I genuinely can't see nothing. There's so much animals and stuff in there, I don't think I can do this, man. Boom! No, uh, we've got Hakeem over there with a flashlight, uh, and I've got one of these. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you, this is so out of my comfort zone. I have not done something like this before. I've not done something like this before, and yeah, overall just scared. Tonight, this is gonna test uh, all of our willpower. So our new plan is um, maybe start a fire or something so we can actually see each other and talk to each other. Pretty sure we got a little gadget for that. Armed only with flint and steel from his survival kit, AJ attempts to start a fire with the hairs from a coconut. Even though he is successful, it is now too dark to find food, so he will have to remain hungry tonight. I'm not lying to you, this is probably one of the scariest things I've ever done in my life. And dangerous, Jesus. I'm starting to get hungry. Going the first day without food. Thirsty as well, that coconut was not enough. Tomorrow has to be a better day. Tomorrow we have to hunt. We have to do all this crazy stuff, because otherwise, I'm not going to be able to survive. Now tired and dehydrated, the boys decide to make their way back to their camp. All right, this is the scariest bit of the video. We have to go back to base, and there's literally no, no lights in this whole forest. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Ah. 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 <laughs> spider web, spider web, spider web. <laughs> my anxiety, my anxiety is pretty good. So far, my comfort zone. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my god! Look at that! Look at that frog! Look at that frog! A frog supposed to be in a pond, bro. What the hell's a frog doing here? After finding their way back to camp, they try to rest. All right, Kim. Good night. But the jungle never sleeps. All right, I'm in my hammock right now, and I'm telling you right now, I'm hearing every single sound on the planet. It's literally look logs and it's literally. Oh my god! I hate this, I hate this. What was that? I hate this, I hate this. As the sun rises, the group faces a new challenge. They will need to make it to the extraction point by sunset if they don't want to be left on the island. But with the hike being at least five miles long, the boys will need to find another source of water soon if they don't want to risk passing out from dehydration. So we spent the last hour or so dismantling the camp and um, heading to our next location. But wow, I'm drained. Everyone woke up with bites and damage done to them. And this is only us around 12 hours, I guess, on the island. Imagine if we did a month, we'd generally die. Only 15 minutes into their hike, AJ stumbles across new territory. Oh my god. Monkeys, they look. Oh my god, they're all looking at us. Sorry, monkey. This is what we kept seeing the whole morning. I was hearing them, I was seeing them. There's loads of them. But yeah, like I said, there's wildlife literally everywhere along here. Low key, I'm starting to get scared. I feel like I'm in some documentary, look at it. So many. I think this is generally one of the most hardest filming places we've been to. All my energy has been exerted on walking around and getting to places. I have no, I have no energy left. Ah! Two miles in, the effects of dehydration are really kicking in. We've been walking for a while. Look at the way I'm sweating. I am telling you right now, this jungle is not made for the. <laughs> oh my god! What kind oh of shit! Fucking... Oh my god! That's a hornet, bro. That's a hornet. What? They need to find water soon, or they will not make it to the extraction point. I don't know what I've been told. I don't know what I've been told. But I won't die inside this hole. I won't die inside this hole. I don't know what you've been told. I don't know what you've been told. I promise I'm gonna make it home. I'm gonna promise, promise I'm gonna make it home. That is by far the worst singing I've heard in my entire life. I really hope they find water soon, or we're gonna have to listen to this torture for some time. Bro, uh, well, how are we doing this? Uh, hardly any water, nothing. We're oh, water. Santa. I'm finished. I am so dehydrated. All I want is water. Haven't drank. But then. Alright, so you reckon there's any girls on this island? 
At last, a stream. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. We might have actually found some water. Look at that. With their life straws, the boys can fill up on safe drinking water. Come on, Dan. Chug the whole river. Oh my god. That's good. It tastes really good. Oh wow, that's good. <sighs> Woo! That is fresh. That gives us a bit of energy. Achamanina patana. But in all the excitement, Hakim gets stung by a thorn plant, and AJ is forced to bring out the med kit. Whilst addressing his cuts, Dan spots an arrow pointing down the stream. Seems to be an arrow here, bro, but someone put this up about 80 years ago. Only 50 meters down the stream, there is another. Knowing that the road will not directly take them to the other beach's extraction point, the group decides to follow the arrows heading down the stream in hopes it will lead them to the ocean. I feel like this is where snakes and stuff would be. I don't like this. This is too much. But by going off-road, they now face an even bigger danger from the animals that call the jungle their home. Look at these, you could just step anywhere and there could be a snake underneath. Yeah. It bites your leg and then you're dead. Oh, I, hate, I hate this. This is where they chill. Oh my God, look at this jungle path. It's getting worse. Tell me that's just not bait, snake bait. Yeah, bro, well, I thought it was. That's literally snake bait. Oh, I can't do this. This is too dense. It's like jungle, jungle. Jungle parkour. Oh my God, that's not a f***ing snake. That's snake. No, it's a tree. But you oh, cannot oh. say that don't look like that a snake. That is generally, that's a snake. We've been on a trail for the past hour. We walk through jungle, we walk through beaches, we walk through every type of terrain. And it just keeps going up and up and up. I'm dehydrated to hell. Where is this going? Where even are we? The group have been hiking for nearly two hours down the stream, with one route leading to the ocean and the other leading to potentially nowhere. AJ starts to wonder if they're going the wrong way. Oh my God, it just doesn't stop. Look, come up here. Oh my gosh. With not much water in the stream either, something needs to change soon. Alright, things are actually getting really serious right now. Hakeem has asthma and decided not to bring his pump, which is a rookie mistake. Forgot, bro. We're tired. Oh, Fucking spider, bro. Scared the shit out of me. Spider, bro. I'm scared the f. Uh, you know, I generally jumped. I thought it was a snake or some shit. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, we're all on edge. On edge, yeah. So um, it shouldn't be too far from here because the stream's getting louder. Uh, let's, just, let's just take it slow. Let's go. Not long after, AJ spots a waterfall. This is great news for the group, as this is the end of the stream, and they now know if they walk back down to the other end, it will lead them to the ocean. Oh my god! Oh! My! No. God! Now knowing they'll be on the right track, the boys decide to take in the beauty of the waterfall and take a dip. Oh. My. Word! Let's go, baby! Let's go! Yeah! Let's go! That was incredible! The fishes! The fishes! The fishes! I'm telling you guys right now, that was the most worth it thing on earth. And we're drinking! We got so gassed that we forgot to drink. Before they head back, AJ resupplies up on filtered drinking water. But luckily for him, he's got something that can help him out with the taste. It's today's sponsor, Air Up. This is an Air Up bottle, and this lets you experience flavor through scent. No, it's not magic. This is pure science. There's over 30 pods you can get, all different flavors. And each pod can refill a bottle eight times. All you do is take them out of the package, put it to the bottle, pull them up, and that activates the scent. Now I can go back to drinking coconut flavored water. This has made drinking water so much easier on this island. And if you want to experience the flavors of Air Up, make sure you click the link in the description. And also thank you very much to Air Up for sponsoring this video. Love you guys. Whilst taking in the nature, the boys forgot one important factor. Daylight. The sun will be setting in a few hours, and with the estimated hike just over two hours to get to the extraction point, the boys will need to hurry back if they do not want to be stuck in the middle of the jungle at night. Big jump! However, with the group still being low on energy from not eating any food, problems start to arise. Oh my god, danger sword, danger sword snake. Oh my god. Well, I'm not. I, 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 I. For real, for real, for real. You know, 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 you
Oh my god. The snake AJ nearly stepped on was a Lysodon capunicus, also known as the wolf snake. Although it seemed to Dan that it was only a baby, the snake is indeed venomous. They will need to be very careful from this moment on. Alright, things are actually getting dangerous right now. About a couple of seconds ago, I almost stepped on a snake and Dan actually saw it slither away. But we've been hiking up this waterfall for way too long now. Almost two hours now and we are still nowhere near it. It gets dark in a couple of hours. We're gonna pack cameras away and just try run up because this doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to keep stopping. It's gonna get dark. Let's go. Oh my God, it just doesn't stop, look. AJ's finding this hard and I'm doing it one-handed. This is bad. All right, fuck it. Yeah. AJ's currently being attacked. By some oh, bugs. Oh my gosh! <laughs> but then, after three more hours of hiking, the stream finally leads to the ocean. They have made it to the extraction point. We will never go down! <sighs> Actually, you know what? There's no energy here. Everyone's done. It's literally one of the scariest things in my life. We made it back. It's generally one of the most dangerous things I've ever done in my life. Probably shouldn't go to these levels to make videos. Oh my god. I don't know, man. These jungles here, not a joke. We're not bare grills. All they have to do now is set up camp and they can finally rest. The group has overcome so much already on this journey. So as they watch the sunset, AJ makes another fire and has a surprise for his friends. All right, boys, we're here. It's our final night. It's been a long journey. We survived tonight and we're done. But um, before that happens, I just want to get some things off my chest. About 40 something hours ago, we arrived on this island. Three idiots who know nothing about survival. They said we'd die. Did we die? Nearly, but Nearly. we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> from having only three hours being ashore, not having any resources, apart from a machete, trunks, first aid kit, we, we came really far. We went from sleeping in the jungle to being hungry, but our quench was thirst by our first coconut, which we'll remember together forever. We were boys when we came on this island, and now we're men. So I want, I want you guys to know that I'm proud of you. We were in almost 40 degree weather, carrying big ass camera bags, running from snakes, monkeys. It's been a very weird journey, but I'm glad I spent it with you guys. So I've got you guys a little gift, something that I probably shouldn't have bought on this island. Oh, what is it? We might be breaking a couple of rules, but you can't have a campfire without some marshmallows, guys. Oh, shit! We can't, we can't. Anyone who says this is cheating probably is. But who actually cares? We almost died. We deserve the marshmallows. This is the first bit of food the boys have eaten in two days. So as they finish the marshmallows... Oh! No! Oh. Oh. They head back to bed to await the rescue boat. As the sun rises, the boys wait patiently for the rescue boat, but it hasn't arrived on time. All right, we're at the point where they're supposed to be meeting us. Hopefully, they come. Do we just wait here? Over here! We're here! The 50 hours are now up, but the boat is nowhere to be seen. What if this thing just doesn't come? Ah, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm starting to think this boat's not coming. AJ starts to wonder if they're at the wrong extraction point. All right, it's been roughly about an hour. I've just been standing around, calling, looking around, nothing, just ocean. Go back for these guys. They're just waiting for the boat. It's been about two hours. I don't think this is coming, man. After nearly two hours of waiting, Dan flies his drone up and notices something approaching in the distance. It's finally here. As they climb on, the boys realize they never have to set foot back on this island again. They have done it. They have survived 50 hours on a desert island. Technically 52, but that's even more of a reason to subscribe right now.